2023 na kare revenue a kasa nan na Nigeria da kudin da ake biyan har albashi daga sector ya ninka wanda ake samu daga oil and gas uku kuma ba ni na fada ba ga result din nan KPMG suka yi binciken da kuma FCDO Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office da office saka tana gwamnatin tarayya aka kawo turawa da bakaken fata ba ma mutun daya da zaka ce ko dan arewa ne ko musulmi ne a duniya ba daga ce maybe ya mun kara da suka yi analysis suka ce zaman da ne ya office sun gabatar da result on 17 and 18 of October 2022 na kare revenue daga digital economy sector increase din by 594% kusannanin ka kudin shiga sau shida sau shida suka ce revenue da na samu a lokacin da ake a Nigeria quarterly a wata uku ana samu kudin shiga daga sector din miliyan 51 ne lokacin da na bar office a wata uku ya koma biliyan 408 biliyan 408 daga me daga biliyan 51 kusannin ki shida nayi kuma duk wannan kudin muka yi ba kobo daya da muke nema dukkan gwamnati muke remitin wa ita babu record ba idan taba cewa ko naira daya a rike a ministry ko a sector din ko a wani parastatal da ke wanda mai ba mu yi ba dukkan kudin a lokacin da ake lockdown ai albashi a kasar ba mu muka rike daga sector duk najeriya shi ake raba ba wajo hi su biya albashi so abun da nake magana revenue generation ba ban sani bane na yi ne amma yanzu da aka fitar da result kuma bayan tafiyar mu MTN kadai for the first time a tarihin sun yi asaran ba ma magana riba asaran biliyan 177 a shekara a kasa da shekara biliyan 107 to yanzu asara ma ake ba tunanin riba ba so da ka issue na revenue generation ba wai ba mu sani bane duk inda ne aiki mafi kankanta ina increasing revenue generation mafi kankanta 400% ne har zuwa sama da haka I mean so doka in ina magana revenue generation ina magana kan abun da na sani ne eh kan abun da muka sani ne ko muka aikata aikace result din yana nan yanzu reporting cewa na kare ba 594% a Nigeria report din yana cikin yana cikin presidency a yanzu akwai record din akwai option SGF kuma duk wani minister an bashi copy su FCDO da KPMG suka ce a kuma wadanda aka ba wa aiki a shekarar ni ne na na dai a Nigeria a performance saboda abu takwas aka bani kowanne a plus na gama da shi kowanne da a plus ne ha ne so ba abu ne da yake wai ba a sani ba ne eh shi yasa yanzu da mukammal aikin nake da peace of mind akan agriculture wajen arziki kasashe da dama suna da gold suna da diamond suna da makamantan su wasu suna da oil and gas amma dukkan nan su muhimmancin su bai kai agriculture ba yanzu misali in an baka zinare kuma babu abinci kana jin yunwa mai amfanin sa in kana jin yunwa mota za ta tauku za ka yi zuwa gidan mai maka sha mai din shi yasa a dukkan arziki da Allah yake bayarwa aka sa babu wani abin da ke da muhimmanci da amfani kuma yake zama sababi na samun arziki da sauki kaman harkar noma in mun ce noma ya hada noma da kiwo saboda shi ma noma ne Ah munasaba da wannan zan yi sharing ko da wasu shawarwari ga wasu daga cikin shugabanni a Najeriya musamman gwamnonin mu na Arewa da daman su akwai wanda suna ta kokari a agriculture hanyar noma ana ta kawo tractori da dama suna ta kokari wasu suna ta kokarin promoting security dan ayi noma ana ta bada discount na taki duka dan a samu ayi noma ba mu da ni'imar da Arewa ta kai noma kuma komai da ake cewa an samu amfanin sa bai kai noman ba don shi man yanzu nan gaba ka dan aka yi wasa shekara 20 30 40 maza bukatar za ta yi karanci matuka da yawa a duniya don a yanzu kasashe da dama sun saka date na hana aiki da motar dake aiki da man fetar kawai sai motar dake aiki da hasken rana ko electricity aje ai charge motar yadda ake charge wata da wuta da wuta shikenan yadda kake charge mobile phone din ka aka ake yi to don haka ke dan an an kama hanyar kokarin takaita bukatuwa zuwa ga mai mu a arewa abun da ya taimaki yayin mu da kakarin mu a shekarun ba shine noma kuma refineries na Najeriya da aka yi da harkan noman aka gina su akwai lokacin da kafin a fara discovery da exploration da production of oil and gas a Nigeria agriculture din shine babban abun da ke contributing to our economy kage yadda ake gyada a Kano 
da makamantan su da wannan aka yi ta gina kasar nan a lokacin Allah ya ba mu lan in ka dauki lan din Najeriya yanzu zai iya zai kai 923000 square kilometers wato square kilometers shine 923 wannan lan din gabaki dayansa idan ka dauke shi 79% kashi 79 cikin dari arewacin Najeriya ne only 21 cikin dari ne kudanci so don haka fi land da Allah ya ba mu gonar noma da kasan noma akalla mun ninka kudanci kusan sau nawa kusan sau uku wajibi ne mu ba wa harkan noma muhimmanci shi yasa duk inda Allah yake kiran jarrabawa Qur'ani bai ce mun kona man fetar din su bai ce mun kona zinarin su ce mun kona gonassu saboda tace asalin hanyar neman arziki tabbatacciya saboda abinci dole ne a ce shi dole ne a sarrafa abinci a ce mutun na ce dabbobi suna ce in ka dauke kasashen da suka ba agriculture muhimmanci da dama a stade yaddan fada da dama sun fara kokari koda na karshe karshe na ga gwamnatin jihar Naija gwamna Bago yana ta kokari an kawo tractori da makamantan su duka wannan initiatives ne Second term governors da dama sun yi initiatives irin nasu kuma yana da muhimmanci abinda zan kara akai shine cewa agriculture yanzu ya canja daga traditional agriculture zuwa mechanized agriculture and most importantly zuwa digital agriculture a digital agriculture baka bukatan babbar gona idan zaka yi noma yar karama kake bukata yanzu wace kasa ce tafi kowace sai da amfanin gona da fitar da amfanin gona a duniya asali amerika ne duk arzikin amerika da ci gaban ta yin technology ba ta wasa da noma su ne na farko a duniya yanzu china da india da russia suke nema su cika far amerika amma kasa ta biyu a duk duniya bayan amerika har zuwa 2021 ita ce the netherlands shine kasar holland ba poland ba holland ita kasar holland the netherlands gaba da girmanta is 41583000 square kilometers ne kana iya cewa jihohi shida a Najeriya kowanne ta fi kasar girma da Naija da Borno da Taraba da Kaduna da Bauchi da Yobe kana iya cewa girmanta kusan daidai ne da jihar Adamawa amma abinda din Netherlands kai sune na biyu a duniya kuma population din su har sun karu be wuce 19 million people ba kaga population din be wuce kace na Kano ba ni aure na Kano ma mutum biliyan 19 a yanzu to shine dukkan adadin jama'ar da ke kasar amma sune na biyu kuma ka duba girman kasar su America ta nanka da Netherlands a girman kasa sama da sau 270 sama da 270 Nigeria ta nirka da Netherlands akalla sau 22 da yan kai muka ninka su amma da Netherland a 2021 abinda suka samu wa agriculture sun samu abinda yake 114 billion USD dalal amurka dala ta amurka dub billion 114 daga agriculture ita kuma America ta farko a lokacin ta samu dalan amurka billion 177 amma kasar da take da mutum miliyan 19 sun samu a noma kudin shiga dala biliyan 114 a 2017 shine Najeriya ta samu mafi kankantan kudi a oil and gas an shiga recession an shiga jaraba kala kala price din yayi crashing to the extent that cost of production yafi kuma kudin sai da shi a duniya a wannan shekarar abinda muka samu 17 biliyan USD ne a duk shekara biliyan 17 na dala amma din Netherlands na samu sama da biliyan 100 a noma a wannan shekarar sun ninka mu daga noma abinda suka samu ya ninka abinda muka samu daga oil and gas akalla sau 10 noma da ake yanzu bai bukatan yawan girman kasa in muka ci gaba da damuwa da noma na tractor maintenance kada ya ishe mu mutanen mu ba su da maintenance culture musamman har yanzu tunanin su duk abu na gwamnati bulus ne man taraka ba ti suddan ne in kai wasa kudin da akai investing a tractori da sauran na'urori da taki in aka sashin aka yi noma kunnan kudin ba zai dawo ba 
menene ne solution shine digital agriculture na farko a digital agriculture ko a rani zaka yi yana takaita bukatar ruwa da muke yi a ainihin noman mu da muke yanzu da tractor da sauran su a gona by more than 90% sannan yana removing aiki da maganin kwari da kaza da kaza da magunguna by kashi 95 cikin dari daga cikin tsari na digital agriculture akwai litafin da na rubuta bai fito ba don hana yi practicing abin da wani nafsa agriculture da muka yi a Nigeria iya cikin abin da ya kai ni wasu kasashe na Larabawa ina dan taimaka musu da wadannan fikirori din yana cikin abin da ya kai ni manyan kasashen Larabawa guda biyu masu arziki sosai da suke son samu tsarin da za su shadda kansu ba sai an kai musu ba so shine tsarin da na daya daga cikin dalile da dama da nake zuwa wuraren su one or out of many a digital agriculture na farko kana bukatan idan zaka yi shi ka gane cewa akwai abu nake cewa vertical agriculture shine sai kaga an yi gonar wata kan wata wata kan wata a the netherland wannan karamar kasar har akan rufin din masallaci da zaka iya yin noma da zaka ciyar da iyalanka kuma wataƙila ka sayar a shekara ka samu kudin shiga da ba zai iya gaza naira miliyan 50 60 ba akan iya rufin din masallacin nan akan gida ba suke kan gidan ka kwanan ya ishe ka noma duk abin da zaka ci sannan akwai abin da ake cewa soilless agriculture wato noman da babu kasa ita kasar ba yanzu ba sharadi bane na noma ko ba kasa ana noma sunan sa soilless agriculture ba sai da kasa zaka yi noman ba shi yasa kace ga suna green houses akwai abin da ake cewa plant lab akwai precision agriculture yadda ake ana deploying artificial intelligence the big data what to process na big data analytics the robot ta inda ba a sa ruwa yayewa sai an duba wani lokaci ake buga yanzu irin ruwan mu na noman irrigation kai haka za ku ai ta zuba ruwa a gona ya jike wani lokaci ruwan yayewa matsala ne akwai iya quantity da ake so so true digital agriculture sai dai ka ba ruwan iya dan abin da yake so kuma wajen bayar ruwan kashi 90 cikin darin ruwan da muke zubawa babu bukatan sa gona mai girma baka bukatan ta in ka samu fili da kai 5000 square kilometers ya ishe ka a gona zaka yi noma da zai rike iyalanka mutum 40 50 a shekara sannan zaka iya fitar da shi a shekara ka ciri bar miliyan 60 zuwa miliyan 100 na naira yanzu ka dauki din netherland wahala ta sa su kai wannan tunanin lokacin da aka yi yake na second world war yakin duniya na biyu kamar yadda ake fada a 1944 su mutanen nazi so su kai blocking inda ake kai abinci zuwa ga the netherlands su kuma the netherlands 41000 square kilometers din nan ba wai duka ma kasa bane kashi 1 cikin ukun kasar yana on the sea level ne only kashi 2 cikin uku ne ma kan tsaurarin san san daurin kasa sai suka yi ta kokarin land reclamation shine za su reclaiming land ai ta san feeling irin yadda yanzu ake a lagos a rika cika ruwa da kasa don a rika gini a wurin so suka yi ta reclaiming land suka yi ta reclaiming na sai suka introducing digital agriculture daga baya to a yanzu a duk shekara sukan ci riba daga harkan noma a kasar a samu abin da kai dala biliyan 110 zuwa 140 ba mu taba samun wannan a mai ba ko a man ne tsanani a samu 37000 37 billion usd to ko a man ne mafiya yawan abin da muka samu shine kashi 1 cikin ukun abin da suka samu kasa ma da kashi 1 cikin ukun so kula ga wanda idan da initiatives na digital agriculture wanda muke advocated ina da yakinin jihohiya arewa akwai wanda za su daga samun kudin shiga mafi kankanta dala biliyan 10 a wata ta shekara dala biliyan 10 matsalan minimum wage za a magance matsalan welfare za a magance free education da wannan za a iya yin sa free health care duk da wannan za a yi duk jihar da ke samun karin dala biliyan 10 na kudin shiga in tana wannan harkan noma me ba za ta yi ba no ake bayarwa grant din a yanzu duka nawa ake bayarwa monthly fact din an raba nawa ne kuma mu dole sai mun canja mun yi reorienting kan mu mun canja tunani har yanzu matasan mu sun bufe bukatan ci ma zaune anything da za a wahala ba sa bukata kuma wallahi ba daidai bane dole mu amince dukkan wata wahala mu shiyata dan me saboda danga ba kuma ni'imomin da Allah ya mana da hikima yayi su a arewa mu tabbatar mun yi leverage din su don mu dogara ga kai saboda kalubale na tsaro a yanzu da muke da shi da kalubale na karancin resources digital agriculture is better 
ba ka da bukatar yin nisa da cikin gari da yake kilomita uku ba ba ka da bukata in kana da fili a bayan gidanka ya ishe ka ba ka da bukata a bayan gidanka kana iya noma a kan gidanka kana iya noma kuma ba ka da matsala babba ta maganci abin da ya shafi damuwar mu yanzu ta maintenance mutanen mu da dama idan ka ba mutun tractor ka ce je yayi ka ba shi wa shekara da ya gayyar da abin da ya zaba ba mu da dabi'a ta maintenance ba mu da ita kwata kwata kuma maintenance iya da tsada kuma yana da wahala so duk da haka dai na yaba irin wadannan abubuwa din amma encouragement din ga gwamnonin mu shine we should go higher mu gara introducing digital agriculture ga sunan kasashen da suke yi suna ci gaba yanzu Ghana recently sun zo sun ce su ba suna so sparring digital agriculture kasashe da dama irin da Netherlands su ma sun yi copy in Thailand recently suna copy model din da Netherlands so irin wadannan al'amura noma iya da muhimmanci yana da amfani yana da fa'ida duk wanda ya sani iyayen mu a rayuwa da noma suka dogara da yan kadan ne suke kasuwanci anguwa masu kasuwanci bai wuce mutum uku ko hudu ba kawai noma za a je a yi a cikin rumbu da shi wani bangaren a sayar a sai kayan miya ba haka yake yi ba waye damu da sai abinci sai abinci bai dame su ba lokacin ma babu yalwan takin zamani mai ake yake da shi wani lokaci kashin dabbobi ake hada akai gonan a zuba ai ta tara shi a lokacin rani inda mana dan zai fara aiki da shi so ina encouraging digital agriculture matuka daga sai da concept din ayi ko anan abuja na taba yin concept din sannan na taba aiki da concept din a gombe da wasu wurare aka karantar da matasa yadda ake wasu daga cikin su ba duka ba kadan daga ciki yana da matukar muhimmanci in kai wannan ko a abuja kake lokaci ka huta ma da sayan abinci dan babban mazalin mu arewa shine a yanzu karancin kudin shiga a jihohi duka jihohi suna complain kudin shiga yayi matukar karanci duk da dai ya karu amma duk da haka ya karanci to digital agriculture zai ba mu abin da fark da ake bayarwa amma ba zai bayar ba zan da zo karshen wata a raba kudin a digital agriculture kuma abin da nake fada na increase agriculture ai nayi aiki a office daga 2019 zuwa 2023 ai nayi zuwa na sector na digital economy sector daga 2019 zuwa 2023 na kare revenue a kasa nan na Najeriya da kudin da ake biyan har albashi daga sector ya, ya ninka wanda ake samu daga oil and gas sau uku kuma ba ni na fada ba ga result din nan KPMG suka yi binciken da kuma FCDO Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office da office saka tare gwamnatin tarayya aka kawo turawa da baka kyan fata ba ma mutun daya da zaka ce ko dan arewa ne ko musulmi ne a duniya ba daga ce maybe ya mun kara da suka yi analysis suka ce zaman da na ya office sun gabatar da result on 17 and 18 of October 2022 na kare revenue daga digital economy sector increase din by 594% kusan nanan ka kudin shiga sau shida sau shida suka ce revenue da na samu a lokacin da ake a Nigeria quarterly a wata uku ana samun kudin shiga daga sector din miliyan 50 da 1 lokacin da na bar office a wata uku ya koma biliyan 408 biliyan 408 daga me daga biliyan 50 da daya kusan ninki shida nayi kuma duk wannan kudin muka yi ba kobo daya da muke nema dukkan gwamnati muke remitin wa ita babu record ba idan ta bace ko naira daya a rike a ministry ko a sector din ko a wani parastatal da ke wanda mai ba mu yi ba dukkan kudin a lokacin da ake lockdown ai albashi a kasar ba mu muka rike daga sector duk najeriya shi ake rabawa wajohi su biya albashi so abinda nake magana na revenue generation ba ban sani bane na yi ne amma yanzu da aka fitar da result kuma bayan tafiyar mu MTN kadai for the first time a tarihin sun yi asaran ba ma magana riba asaran biliyan 177 a shekara a kasar da shekara biliyan 177 to yanzu asara ma ake ba tunanin riba ba so da aka issue na revenue generation ba wai ba mu sani bane duk inda ne aiki mafi kankanta ina increasing revenue generation mafi kankanta 400% ne har zuwa sama da haka i mean so doka in ina magana revenue generation ina magana kan abun da na sani ne eh kan abun da muka sani ne ko muka aikata aikace result din yana nan yanzu reporting cewa na kare ba 594% a nigeria report din yana cikin yana cikin presidency a yanzu akwai record din akwai option sg kuma duk wani minister an bashi copy 
su FCDO da KPMG suka ce a kuma wadanda aka ba wa aiki a shekarar ni ne na na dai a Nigeria a performance saboda abu takwas aka ba ni kowanne A plus na gama da shi kowanne da A plus ne ha ne so ba abu ne da yake wai ba a sani ba ne eh shi yasa yanzu da mukammal aikin nake da peace of mind saboda aikin is too demanding na sha wahala ni in ka ban amana ba na iya bacci lokacin quality of service ko a facebook na gani ko twitter mutun da ya complain duk kamfanin sa san kira su in network yayi down ba na bacci sai ya gyaru a najeriya don ina tsoron kada inji allah ya tambaye ni to ba yanzu an huta kuma a haka fa da muka kare rabanon kar ku manta tunda na shiga office ba a taba kara kudin buga waya ko data na kwana dai ba zuwan da nayi 1 gigabyte na data average price din sa 1 gigabyte naira 1200 ne bayan na kammala na fita ya koma average price na 1 gigabyte ya dawo 320 daga 220 ya dawo 320 kaga kenan ba a takurawa talaka ba kudin kuma aka yi me kudin shigan ya karo saboda in mutun ya san leadership babban hakkin shugaba shine tausayawa rayuwar talaka ba duk decision da za ka yi idan talaka zai wahala kar ka kuskura ka yi shi a ka'idan shugabanci talakawa sune sune baseline din ka duk abin da zai sa talaka to zarta kar a yi shi in aka yi da'aida na sani shi mai kudi da mai mulki duk kuncin rayuwa sun san da barbarin da suke so rayu cikin sauki amma talaka bai da any gata sai Allah so shi yasa leadership mai inganci shine yayi za mu kare talaka kada yi wahala sati daya da zan bar office san da wani babbe ya sami daga company ya ce oga mun yi mun yi a zamanin ka mu kare kudin waya kudin data ka ki yanzu ka ba ni san tafiyan ka don kana mana kokari ina murna zaka tafi don kana tafiya za mu kara to a yanzu daga tafiyan ba kara ba har ni ta kara ba so amma ba a taba yi ba a zamu yana balma an rage kudin daga 1200 zuwa 320 tsatsa dan sa 350 so shi talaka ka'ida shi ne baseline in zaka take decision duk abin da zai to za ta talaka ko ya sa shi a damuwa ba a yin sa shugabanci shi mai kudi duk kuncin rayuwa san da barbarin sa masu mulki duk bala'in da ake ciki sun san da barbarin su za su rayu za su je ingila su za su je america za su je medical check up amma talaka fa ba yi da wata dabara allah shi samu wanye lafiya allah shi samu wanye lafiya allah shi samu wanye lafiya insha allah don haka mafalu ma yunfiquun fi hadhihi alhayati adunya misalan abun da suke ciyarwa a rayuwar duniya ka mafali rihin fi hasirrun kaman amfanin gona ne da a cikin sa akwai sanyi mai tsanani da kara mai tsanani asaba har sa qaumin zalamu anfusahum wanda yasa shafi amfanin gonan mutane fa ahalakat sai gonar ta kone ta lalace ta halaka wa ma zalamahum allah allah bai zalunce su ba kawunan su suka zalunta wannan kuma bangaren aiki tashbihi ne ana kwat kwatance ne ake kwatanta aikin wadanda suka yi buwa allah butulci da da kone war gona amma kuma akwai inda ayoyi a qur'ani suka bayyana karara cewa duk abin da suka ciyar dan su dusha shi addinin allah ba za su yi nasara ba za ka ban misali innal ladina kafaru yunfiquna amwalahum liyasuddu an ba ta da jin din nan ba eh ayya da ce a tayar mana ko mai ke faruwa ne wanda suke baya anan daga an ana karatu a gaya tsaya lokaci masu jin suna ne sa tashi da gaga a tabbatar an dai da shi da gaggawa ba dalili mafalu ma innal ladina kafaru yunfiquna amwalahum liyasuddu an sabilillah fa sayunfiqunaha thumma takunu alayhim hasratan thumma yughlabuna wal ladina kafaru ila jahannama yihusharu da wannan zai zama cikin anfal ne aya ta 36 lalle ne wadanda suke ciyar da dukiyoyin su don su tun su rufe addinin Allah su hana a fahimce shi liyasuddu an sabilillah Allah ya ce fa sayunfiquna da sannu za su ciyarwa thumma takunu alayhim hasratan sai zama asara a gare su 
ثم يغلبون كما سئر جاء يسوع والذين كفروا الى جهنم يحشرون wanda suka yi wa Allah butulci suka kafurce masa zuwa ga jahannam masu ke tafiya Allah ya kare mu daga butulci da kafurce wa gare shi do haka aiki Allah baya karba sai aiki na wanda ya imani da Allah Allah ya ba mu ikon aiki imani da shi ya kuma ba mu ikon aiki da ilimi da dukiya da lokaci da mutunci don taimakon al'umma da ciyar da addinin Allah gaba subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك 